So we're going to do a rotation here. Before I graph anything, I'm going to write down what I have to do. So I'm going to go counterclockwise because it does not say a direction. And I'm going three turns. All right, so I'm going three turns counterclockwise. So I draw a graph of what I have happening here. So I'm looking for one, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, one. And one, whoops. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So A, B, C. So I have that triangle right there. I want to rotate it. So I'm going to screen clip it. So I can spin my virtual paper here. Paste it over here. So I'm going three turns counterclockwise. Remember, if you don't know which way counterclockwise is, draw a little clock. 12, 3, 6, 9. Counterclockwise is that way. So when I right click on this, I rotate. And I want the arrow to point the way that clock arrow is pointing. So I'm going to rotate left 90. There's one turn. There's two turns. There's three turns. So that's where that ends up. So I'm going to write the coordinates down. So A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, so A is at 1, 2, 3, negative 3, negative 1. B prime is at negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 5. And C prime is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, positive 4, negative 3. So there's where the things go. All right, and I'm going to put those coordinates on here now. 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3. Right there. Put my letters on there. So that one's A prime. That one's B prime. That one's C prime. Uh, so I've got that right there. Everything's rotated. All my coordinates are written down. It worked well.